if you are not the ruler, nobody is safe in that system. And Kim Jong Chol Ji has zero freedom to do anything he wants. Every single moment of his life is being surveillance and reported to Kim Jong Un directly. And he is uh, so isolated from the entire population of North Korea that now he literally lost his mind. The intelligence is confirmed that they, he's like hearing sounds, he's seeing the things, he's haunted by ghosts. So everybody who might possibly replace Kim Jong-un is all under the house arrest in North Korea. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi Park and I'm a North Korean de facto human rights activist. Today in this video guys, I'm going to talk about the most unfortunate and the least free person in North Korea, and that is Kim Jong-un's older brother Kim Jong-chul. We all know that Kim Jong-un's half-brother Kim Jong-un got assassinated a few years ago in Malaysia at the international airport. But nobody really talks about this tragedy that Kim Jong-chul exists and the suffering that he's going through under Kim Jong-un. In, in a way that in, in North Korean tradition, in the Kim's family, this is a kingdom, right? They run the country, they are the kings. But if you, you're not chosen as the next heir, you usually face death. And Kim Jong-chul was able to avoid the death because he had a sh shared the same mother with Kim Jong-un and Kim Yo-jong. But the thing is, why he's a, a huge threat to Kim Jong-un? Because in North Korea, it's a very traditional conservative society. And when Kim Jong when Kim Jong Il was uh, taking over the power and then legitimizing his power was he used this one reason, told the North Korean people, "I'm the first son of Kim Il Sung," even though Kim Il Sung preferred his younger brother Kim Pyong Il, but Kim Jong Il used this card to North Korean elites, "I'm the legitimate heir because I'm the first son," but Kim Jong Un is not the first son. Kim Jong Chul, who was born in 1981, now who is 40 years old, he is the first legitimate heir. So now Kim Jong Nam is gone. Who is next in the legitimate line? That is Kim Jong Chul. But Kim Jong Un, he's still letting him survive because he's they are sharing the same mother. What he did to Kim Jong Chul after he became the king is that is unthinkable. He made sure that Kim Jong Chul gets zero freedom. Whatever he does, what time he wakes up, when he goes to sleep, where he goes, what he does, every single moment of his life is being surveillance and reported to Kim Jong Un directly. And he is uh, so isolated from the entire population of North Korea that now he literally lost his mind. The intelligence is confirmed that they, he's like hearing sounds, he's seeing the things, he's haunted by ghosts. And at this point, we don't even know if he's alive at this point. He's been house arrested so many years now. The last time that Kim Jong Nam was seen to the public was in 2015 in London. So Kim Jong Chul is known to be the huge fan of Eric Clapton. So and I had to look at, look up Eric Clapton because I just did not know who he was, and I also fell in love with his music. Kim Jong Chul is a guitarist, he loves music and his personality is known to be very soft and feminine. So there was even rumors saying that he was a gay. And so he even went to Singapore in 2011 to attend Eric Clapton's uh, conference. And in 2015 in London, he also did the exact same thing. Now that history is haunting him back. Kim Jong-un is using this reason to uh, imprison him and going after him because North Korea, Kim Jong-un came up with this, this thing called new propaganda, going after anti-socialist, anti-Western, a uh, new tradition that he's beginning demanding from North Korean youth. So he is like punishing North Korean youth if they listen to foreign music, if they watch foreign movies, right? It's been long known that the regime executes and send people to concentration camps if they spread and watch foreign Hollywood made and Western music and uh, movies. So, you know, I mean, Kim Jong-chul went uh, this Eric Clapton's concert and in some ways, right, 
that is uh, Kim Jong Un is thinking that's illegal, and that's now he's using that reason to punish him. And now in Kim, in the North Korean regime, nobody's there to protect him. The aunt got poisoned by Kim Jong Un. The the wife of right the uncle. The uncle Jang Sung Tae also got uh, executed by Kim Jong Un. Really, nobody is left in that family, and even the brother of Kim Jong Il, who was Kim Kang Il, loved by the Kim Il Sung, he was a foreign ambassador, and then he got recruited back. So now he's inside the country. So everybody who might possibly replace Kim Jong Un is all under the house arrest in North Korea. Then nobody is able to escape. But there's a one person. Who made exception? That is Kim Han Sol, Kim Jong Nam's first son. He was protected by China, and then now in the in the protection of the CIA in America. And now only the threat to Kim Jong's throne and Kim Yo Jong's throne is Kim Kim Han Sol. So, but the thing is, it, this is a sad part about the whole country is that if you are not the ruler, nobody is safe in that system. Even though you were the son of the dear leader. Look at what happened to Kim Jong Tae. Like now, he's literally lost his mind, and nobody's there to talk to him because I mean, Kim Jong Un made order that completely isolating, and Kim Jong Tae Ji has zero freedom to do anything he wants. He cannot go anywhere. He cannot meet anybody, and he's forever imprisoned in his life. And this is how cruel dictator is in North Korea. Imagine, guys, this is how he treats his own brother. Well, how would he treat his own people? It's unthinkable how he treats his North Korean people. And the only thing that Kim Jong Tae is not suffering is like he has food. But when you lost everything, he lost his joy. He cannot play in the band. He cannot meet anybody. He lost his meaning of his life. And that's why I don't. At this point, we cannot even verify is he's alive or anymore. And even if he's dead. North Korean regime is perfectly capable of creating a body double and showing that he's alive. So this is the last mystery that humanity have. Somehow it's a、uh, laughable and remarkable that, it, that we have this technology to go to Mars and go <laughs> have a technology to go to space trip, having zero technology to figure out what is happening inside North Korea and inside Kim Jong Un's kingdom. I truly hope that Kim Han Sol. Who is brilliant? Who spoke out against his、uh, his uncle Kim Jong Un? Kim Han Sol always saying that you know Kim Jong Un is a is a a dictator, and he always he always like supported the opening of the economy and freeing North Korean people. So even though I don't want any more Kim to succeed and lead North Korea, it's great to know that there is a good Kim in that family exists. And also, I hope that it was opportunity for you to understand how cruel this is. A actual real life of Game of Thrones. How brothers killing each other, murdering each other, you know, imprisoning each other to survive and getting more power and stabilizing their regime. Thank you guys as always coming to see me and learning more about North Korea. Please join my Patreon today and also the lockers so we can continue to fight for freedom. And shining the light on the darkest corners in our world. I love you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.